I'd like to welcome you to our kitchen table here where we're trying to make face shields. Um, we are uh, just a regular family here in Canada and it's hit hard um, as we see the impacts to families around our country, our nation, and also later around the world. And we know that there's a shortage of things. So this is not intended to cause fear that people should be wearing face shields or something, but we just wanted to show how something like this could be made. And uh, we're working through um, this as we have a heart for our frontline workers who are facing this uh, head on as we are at home. So we so appreciate our Canadian medical staff and uh, the rest of the world that's working so hard to do this. Uh, our politicians, uh, we couldn't be prouder of our Prime Minister and our Premier and all that they're doing to, uh, to care for us and then their massive staffs behind them. So this is uh, intended to help um, as a, uh, a thing. Our Prime Minister and our Premier asked if uh, people had ideas to pre present them. So that's what we're doing here. This is an idea that comes from uh, both the teaching profession and the woodworking industry that I come from because materials for things like this are becoming very hard to get. So I wanna show two methods here that you could make a mask for someone that you love, maybe working in a retail store or something like that to protect them, but also possibly for frontline medical um, if, if it need be. So I'm gonna show two ways, one to make one fast um, and simple. Uh, this is the plain simple one here. It uses uh, three pieces, you need three items, a transparency film from old, uh, old fashioned projectors that uh, were used when I was in uh, elementary school and high school uh, to present lessons on. They range from uh, $15 a hundred to $30 a hundred. And, uh, and then the woodworking side of this is plastic tape, which we use for making cabinets. So this is an adjustable strap that can be put on and uh, you find your head size in the adjustable strap and clip it on and um, it creates a face shield that you can wear. Uh, we have another model here because this is kind of bulky if you're making a lot of them. So this one here is made to fold up. So it locks together to create the shield. And uh, if you're going to flat pack them, making batches of 100, which we're going to try to do today, um, it allows it to go flat in a box um, and does that. So uses an overhead transparency, uses a PVC tape, and uses a stapler. So there's lots of things out there right now with 3D printers. Uh, it takes about an hour to make one on a 3D printer. This one here we can make in under two minutes. One last little option for those of you who like to make things and play just like I do at home. This one here is made from recycled items out of the recycling box. This one happens to be an ice cream container. We had some sour keys a couple days ago. This is essentially the container harvesting the same plastic in a coil from a sour key container. So we can get creative here. Uh, uh, laundry detergent bottles and things like that will all harvest the same PVC style material that could be made to make the straps. We're going to make one here. It's pretty quick and simple. I'm going to use red, but uh, the woodworking tapes come in different colors. Here's a walnut tape. Here's a maple one. Uh, companies like Olon Industries here in North America have millions of feet of this in stock. Every local woodworking shop that produces cabinets will have hundreds of feet of this around. And so it's very easy to come by. We begin by just trimming a piece at 32 inches and uh, the regular manual met here at nine and a half. So two pieces of PVC tape. We're gonna trim the corners of our overhead projector sheet off on a 45 degree angle. Set that aside. We're gonna go through and the corners just so that it doesn't poke people's heads. We're gonna trim the corners off. So that you don't have a sharp thing rubbing against your head. So you do that to all the pieces. And then the secret to this design is the adjustability. So there are other designs out there that require you to buy foam, require you to buy string, rivets, elastic. This one here, it works by cutting an angled 45 degree slot. I'm not even measuring on these. It actually doesn't matter. The key is just cut halfway through the banding strip, whatever you're using. And I do um, a six of them. And then you turn it around and do the same thing on the opposite side. This creates an interlocking finger and with the thin plastic. If you're using thicker material, you may have to cut a little notch so that it sits flat and doesn't rub against your head. But this PVC tape is half a millimeter thick and so it's extremely thin. And uh, the last part here again is just trimming these little notches off here so that we don't have anything hitting against our head. And so that's one side of it done so you can see the interlock. And so it just creates a little finger and then I cut a little notch away on the corner. We'll finish that on this one and we are uh, seven staples away from being done. So 
final trim here. Got lots of little plastic triangles on the desk as you go. So that's ready. We're now ready to assemble our mask with adjustable band. So I take my strip and it's going to be attached to the 32 inch piece. And we are going to start by just roughly centering it. You don't even have to measure, but if you uh, want to make sure that they are flawless, you can do that. And we put one staple in the center so that the film is now held. And then the last part is to put the in band in. And this is creates an airspace. So when we staple this in, it's gonna create an airspace so that the masks don't fog up and it keeps it away so that it doesn't rub against your nose or your mask if you're wearing one. And so on this one is the only one that matters with the staples. You wanna make sure that you staple it so that the um, tabs of the staple don't come in against the person who's gonna wear its head. So you wanna make sure that you staple through from the back side. And I've been doubling these ones just to make sure it stays sturdy. That's good. And then we're gonna pull that taunt and we are essentially finished. So the mask is now, or uh, shield is now ready. You can fit it to your head. Find the clip set that works the best for your head size and clip it on and you have a shield that works to cover your face. So the key here is the airspace. You can see how it allows air to circulate. You can change these dimensions if you wish to, but these seem to work just fine to clear um, the average person and you can produce uh, as many of these as you would like. So we put this out here and I'll post a design as well with it if people can use it. We hope that it can help people uh, around the nation and uh, maybe be of help to somebody, but it's a, a, just a simple idea and our little spin on it here. So uh, take care Canada and uh, God bless.